Hey guys, Elizabeth here. I hope you're doing well and you're having a great day so far. Today we're going to be talking about the S&P 500 index, what it is and why a lot of people choose to invest in it. So what is the S&P 500 index? It's the S&P 500 index, which stands for the Standard & Poor's 500 index. It's a market capitalization weighted index of the 500 leading publicly traded companies in the United States. So it is just in the United States. It's not an international stock. It is the top leading publicly traded companies in the United States. So this would include Tesla, American Airlines, any of those big major stores um, and companies those are going to make up the S&P 500. So that's why a lot of people want to be invested in it because it, number one, has a great track record of having a good percentage gained, eight to 10% over time on average. And it's been consistent for many, many years. So it is a pretty straightforward and reliable and low risk investment. Um, but it also invests in the companies that are doing well. So whatever companies are doing well, you're going to get a portion of that. So instead of just taking a risk on saying, well, I think this company is going to end up being the best company of all time. It's going to make so much money and then it flops and doesn't. That money you invested does not grow. Of course, you can end up investing in Apple when it was starting or Tesla or Amazon. And of course, now you are making so much money, but there's no way to guarantee that a company will be successful. Um, and so having your money invested in the S&P 500 is a great way to ensure, hey, I'm going to get a portion of all of the best companies. I'm going to get dividends and I'm going to be getting um, the percentage over time. So that is why people invest in the top, the S&P 500. So let's look at what those investments are. I will show you on the screen. All right, so the S&P 500. So I'm going to go ahead and type this out on Google. We have stocks in the S&P 500. So what are they? So we know it's about 500 companies and it is the top performing companies in the United States. It is by weight. If we look it up here, you can see Comcast, you can see Disney and Nike and Target. So some you might not recognize and others you might recognize significantly, which is interesting because they are the top 500 companies in the United States, at least the large cap, and they're doing excellent. So you can be confident that you are getting all of the top companies. You see Tesla, you see Amazon, you see Apple and Microsoft, etc. So you have a piece of that pie and that puzzle. That's why it's awesome. Another reason that's awesome, let's take a look at the performance. So it doesn't matter if you like the company, that does matter, but how is it performing and how is it doing? So you can see over time what the track record of a stock or an index fund is. So here you can see the month to date is a negative return, quarterly date, 0.26 return, so not that much, but year to date, it's 16.2%, all right? And typically, they'll go up between 8 to 10% return over time. You can see five years, an average of 9%, and over 10 years, an average of 10%. And so that's a great return. Over 10 years, you're going to keep a pretty high return, which is excellent, and you can't always predict that with other stocks. So also, why do investors use the S&P 500 as a benchmark and why do they want to use it? So it's a wide market. It has the breadth of large cap companies included in the index in the United States. And typically the United States does really well. You can invest in um, international stocks as well. It's totally up to you, but it's a great choice. All right, so I hope that was helpful. Definitely feel free to invest in the S&P 500. There's also some other ETFs and index funds that are low cost and that have that great return that you want to consider as well. I can definitely do more videos on that. I hope that's helpful and I hope you have a great rest of your day. You got this, keep learning and growing and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.